Okay, for this screencast, I'm going to walk through uh, installing Python. Uh, there's a million different ways to install Python um, in varying degrees of complexity. Um, I've scoured a lot of them. The easiest one that I've found is to use uh, a program called Can uh, Canopy. And uh, I've already downloaded this program before, but uh, if you just click the second link, you'll go to the downloads page for uh, Canopy, and it's going to ask you. It's going to you can read all this stuff if you want to, but basically all of the standard installers are here. Um, for Linux and Mac, you only have the 64-bit version um, to choose from, and most computers nowadays are 64-bit, but if you're on an old Windows machine and you have a 32-bit, you have that option. Um, the biggest thing that I personally think is that you should get Python 2.7. Um, somebody else who's watching this video might think that they should you should go ahead and get the 3.5 version, but um, at least for a lot of the stuff that I've learned, uh, 2.7 uh, seems to be the most stable. I know they switched to Python 3 a while ago. Um, Maybe in a later video, I'll install the 3.5 version and upgrade all my code to uh, handle handle all that. But anyway, go ahead and click the download button. It'll download uh, an installer. If you're on Windows, it'll download something. And uh, I've already installed it, and I have it here in my quick access uh, icon. So I'm just going to go ahead and click it. And uh, the uh, splash screen will open up, and you are presented with this window. So everything with Python is completely free. Um, you can log in with an account if you want to. It doesn't, you don't need to. It's not really a big deal. But um, Python has a uh, has a lot of different modules and packages that you can install alongside it. So Python by itself doesn't have very much, but people have written a lot of uh, the toolboxes around it. So like in MATLAB, you have uh, like the optimization toolbox and the um, the the interpolation toolbox and the simulation toolbox and all this other stuff. So uh, Python has similar stuff. So you open up the package manager. Um, for some reason my computer's taking a while, you can see all of the different packages that are installed and all of these are free and uh, most of them are installed already. Um, so like if you click installed, you already have uh, 147 installed, but like the biggest ones are uh, numpy and then uh, matplotlib, which are already installed and it actually looks like uh, nine of them are uh, need to be upgraded. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click uh, upgrade all packages. So uh, hopefully it'll just update all those in the, uh, in the background. So this is uh, really cool. So the only thing that um, you need to do if you're taking my class, if you are uh, in controls, uh, dynamic systems and controls with me as uh, and you're one of my students, um, you need the control systems toolbox. And unfortunately, if you search for the control system toolbox, um, it won't find it. Uh, cache control is not what I'm talking about. So what you need to do is you need to click uh, window, or sorry, tools, canopy terminal and it'll open up a terminal like this. And so on all different computers, it'll, it'll look different, but basically you just want to install um, control. So uh, type in this command exactly how you see it and, and hit enter. And uh, I already have it. And so it's gonna say it's already satisfied, but for you, if as long as you have an internet connection, it should uh, download that. And then you just type in exit. So if you click the editor um, and you go to the editor, um, this looks very, very similar to uh, MATLAB. So you have your uh, command window here, x equals 1, y equals 3, z equals x times y, and then you can print z, and z should be 3, and it is, so you see it there. And you can do uh, print x, and you can type in whose and see what all your variables are. You'll notice that um, if you type in x equals 1, it thinks that uh, x is an integer. And so if you do like x divided by 10, um, it's going to say 0, which is not right, obviously. So you actually want to make, get in the habit of typing in uh, x equals 1.0 and then hitting enter. And so when you type in whose, you'll actually see that's a float now. So it's a floating point precision. And so now if you type in x divided by 10, it'll actually give you a 0 0.1. Um, and it'll convert that for you. Uh, so you have your file browser with uh, all your files and stuff like that. I have a lot of codes here that I've opened recently since I've been pretty much learning Python from scratch for these screencasts. Um, and then over here you have uh, your editor. And so over here you can do um, scripts. And so uh, one of the ones that I thought would be interesting would be to uh, compute your uh, grade point average. So comments in Python are hashtags. And so uh, let's say that I am taking four classes. So I'm taking a four credit class, a three credit class, a one credit lab, and a two credit course. Um, in my grade in each class, um, I did pretty bad in that 4.0 class, I did, or that four credit class, I did really awesome in the uh, two labs, and then I did so-so in the uh, two credit class. So if I uh, go ahead and hit print credits and print grade, and so let me save this as a GPA computation, 
Um, and if you uh, hit the play button here or you can hit control R, it'll run the code. And so there are my two um, arrays. All right, so how do you compute GPA? Well, GPA is equal to the sum of uh, credits times grade divided by the sum of credits. Um, so how do you do these things in Python? So unfortunately, if you type in credits times grade and try to run it, it's going to say that it can't multiply um, list. And that's because everything in Python is a list. So you actually have to do um, what's called uh, import. And you need to import the uh, numpy toolbox. So this imports the uh, numerical Python toolbox, which again is free. And so what we're going to do is we're going to convert these um, lists to arrays. So NP, this is saying import the NumPy um, toolbox as NP. So NP is just for short. You can make NP, NP anything you want. Um, and as array like this. And so now if I type in credits times grade, um, I guess I need to print that. Uh, there it goes. So four times two is eight, three times four is 12, one times four is four, two times three is six. So it multiplied those uh, together. So if I want my GPA, I just do NP.sum uh, credits times grade divided by NP.sum of credits. And if I print my GPA equals GPA, there you go. My GPA is a 3.0, which there you go. So uh, I think that concludes uh, installing Python um, and, and running a quick script. Um, we'll get into the nitty-gritty in uh, other videos. Uh, post in the comments if you have any questions. Good luck.